that's feeling. Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Dalton Gentry, and I am here for yet another quickie review for the last week of October. We've hit them hard this week, so I'm hoping you're really enjoying them. This is one of my favorite horror stories. This is I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Uh, now, I hope you've heard of this before, and I hope you've read this, and you haven't seen the Will Smith movie, but we will get into that. So the first question in the quickie format is, what is this? This is a short novel published in 1954 by Gold Medal Books. This is a huge influence in the zombie fiction genre. You do not get zombie fiction without I Am Legend, in my opinion. Uh, I know somebody's already probably going to want to argue that with me, saying this is, oh, this is vampire fiction. That's a very muddled concept in this book. But anyway, let's just dive right in. Three great quotes from this. In a world of monotonous horror, there could be no salvation in wild dreaming. That is a beautiful quote, if you really look at that. And uh, horror writing usually doesn't get the credit it deserves for sometimes having wonderful, beautiful writing in it. Uh, I think Matheson really captures the essence of beautiful writing in that quote, uh, and he even compliments the horror genre as well. Uh, next, he stood there for a moment, looking around the silent room, shaking his head slowly. All these books, he thought... The residue of a planet's intellect, the scrapings of futile minds, the leftovers, the potpourri of artifacts that had no power to save man from perishing. Now, as a reader, if you do not pick that quote out of this, you're doing something wrong there. Uh, just a wonderful quote as well, uh, saying that all this knowledge, all these concepts, everything that we have spent our lives trying to anthologize, to study, to learn... In the end, if you don't read them, they aren't going to help you. Uh, finally, the keynote of minority prejudice in this, they are loathed because they are feared. Now, that is a powerful quote uh, from 1954 that is still just as powerful today. And again, as I've said many times before, in the horror genre, you usually don't get quotes with such power. Uh, so, Richard Matheson, good on you there. Uh, let's talk about selling this with a sentence. Uh, there was a reason that they made a failed movie from this. That's the best way I can sell it. A lot of people have seen the movie with Will Smith, which is awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, but there is a reason that they really pushed and tried from this. Uh, if I may, from the back, a couple of quotes from some people you might recognize. Uh, I think the author who influenced me most as a writer was Richard Matheson. From Stephen King. And one of the most important writers of the 20th century, Ray Bradbury. So, we praise Stephen King a lot on here. We don't talk about Ray very often, but we do praise Stephen King a lot. We're huge Stephen King fans. Uh, this is the man who influenced Stephen King. This is important, especially in that genre, if you want to take it that far. A uh, couple of good things here. This tackles some heavy subjects for being a horror novel. Now, in that quote where I said the keynote of minority prejudice is this, they are loathed because they are feared, you are obviously going to get a sense that we are going to be dealing with more than just your mindless zombie walking around and uh, the heroine's going to save the day, get out of there alive. We're going to deal with some heavy subjects here, which is wonderful of writing. Uh, this is looking through the big through the small. Looking at the big through the small. My apologies, Adrian. Next up, this is hugely influ influential in horror fiction. As I just said from Stephen King, he said this is one of the most influential authors in his life. Uh, I would make the argument that you do not get modern horror without Richard Matheson. Easy as that. Uh, and finally, this is worlds better than the Will Smith movie. Uh, if you've seen the Will Smith movie, please bear with me here because I'm so sorry you had to sit through that. Uh, that movie ruined it. Ruined it. Uh, they took the ending and completely went their own way with it and just left the beautiful written ending intended by the author out to starve. So, damn it, Will Smith. Damn it. A couple of bad things, though. Uh, there is some muddling in here between vampires and zombies, as I said. Uh, this is hugely influential, in my opinion, for the zombie fiction genre. But uh, there's a lot of elements of vampires as well. I believe they're actually referred to quite often as vampires in this. Uh, but it is different. It's like a combination of the two mythos. Uh, that they, they meld together wonderf wonderfully. I'm not really sure why 
no one has really tackled that too much before. Write that down. Uh, next up, the monotonous realism can be off-putting. Uh, there is more here than just horror. This is a story of survival, and survival is often not as exciting as a lot of people want it to be. Uh, most days, it's just setting your traps and gathering your supplies and getting through the night. You do get that from time to time, but it is necessary to set the mood of this piece, which is very important. And finally, God damn it, Will Smith. You just had to ruin this one, didn't you? There's so much that could have been just wonderful about this, and you ruined it, Will. A couple of liter literary elements that we should talk about. This uses the small to discuss the big, as we were talking about earlier. Uh, there is a wonderful quote, and I should have written this down, I apologize, uh, of saying, uh, it is talking about a Muslim man who has been turned into one of these creatures. And the author says, well, what would happen if we presented him with a cross? Uh, there's a lot of comments on religion, a lot of comments on race, uh, a lot of comments on humanity as well. Who are we? Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? That really will make you think in this novel. And I think it's very important that we sit down and we give this one a read so we can think about these things. Uh, next up, one of the fathers of modern horror here. Uh, Stephen King said this was highly influential to him. And a lot, of, not a lot of people know Richard Matheson, which is disappointing. Uh, but if you are going to be talking horror, which we have been doing all throughout October for Halloween... I think you have to mention Richard Matheson. Next up, the plot twist here is one of the best that I have experienced. Uh, I am not going to ruin it for you in this one. Uh, this is not a heavy literary review, this is just a quick glimpse at the novel, and I would suggest you read it yourself. Uh, but the ending of this, when you realize what the twist is, woof! The author has taken you for a ride on this one. You are invested, and he will hit you upside the head with that. You will be blind to it until you see, and it is wonderful. A couple questions for further discussion. What defines a villain in a work of fiction? Uh, that's a question, because they're always you know, the stereotypical bad guy, especially when we're looking at zombie fiction. We know who the bad guys are. They're the zombies. They're the ones walking around, muttering to themselves, eating brains. Uh, but what defines a villain? Uh, next up, at what point does man reach his breaking point? Uh, like I said, this is a story of survival, and you can't speak about survival without speaking about how far man can go before he just can't go anymore. That's very important in this piece. Next up, why did Hollywood have to ruin this? I'm sorry for bringing it up so many times, but Will Smith, you ruined this movie. This could have been the greatest movie of your career, but you ruined it. Anyway... If this does sound interesting to you, or you have read this before and you would like some further reading, I do have a few recommendations for you. I would highly suggest Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, another classic of the horror genre that predates Richard Matheson by a century, if not more. Uh, I would also suggest Gerald's Game by Stephen King. Uh, King said this was an influential work for him, and I think Gerald Game's, Gerald's Game captures that survivalist aspect that you get through Matheson as well. Uh, you should be able to enjoy that one if you enjoyed this. And finally, if you like Richard Matheson, you should read Richard Matheson. This particular collection I have here also comes with the short novel Hell House. I would suggest it just as highly. Uh, finally, a rating for this. I would give this 91 poor Will Smith performances out of 100. This is one of my favorite works of horror. I cannot praise it enough, and I really hope you go out and give this one a read yourself. If you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. We do this all the time, almost daily anymore. And hit that like button as well, because we always appreciate a like. You can follow us on social media. You can find me at The Dalton, or you can find the channel at Strip Cover. You can also find us on Facebook at Strip Cover Lit.